but a lot of people believe that online marketing is free. It's not free, it's, it's actually really expensive. Um, but the tools to actually get started and take those first few steps um, uh, theoretically are free, but then you can back it with your, with your dollars, your time and your judgment. You give your customers that fabulous experience, which is you have a great product, great service, great smile, great um, environment, all those ingredients, the customer now is truly the boss. For us, Libby, it's the way we handle our relationships with our staff and our people. And to us, people are everything. Before we moved into our new bakery eight or nine years ago, we had about 10% labour turnover. We cared for our people, but we had a pretty crappy environment and it's the best we could do. We moved into sustainability as a total a package overview where we what really... What does that mean? Does that mean beautiful new premises or...? Beautiful new premises, but really showing the staff that we really cared. We look after their health, their, all sorts of things. We really... Invest but we more. expected more from them. Tough right. love, if you like. Yep. You know, give them more, but expect more. And, and really enunciate that through to, through to the staff. Our labour turnover has dropped from 10% to 2%. We underestimate the, the, the power of our people. I believe that if you give you, your staff the environment to excel, they'll, they will very rarely let you down. The sustainability side of things, I'm a great advocate for because sustainability has driven, it's been a culture change driver for us in our business that has, where we've emphasised care, uh, we've emphasised a commitment to our staff that we have had repaid over and over and over again by, by them. There's only a small proportion of people that are actually buying and that are using it. And it's, it's, it's going to take a lot longer for these technologies to actually um, take a hold and, and, and be really valuable to the economy. I think the technology is inevitable. It's rolling through incredibly fast, changing people's lives. And, but what it's doing is that it's, it is it is making the human experience at the other side of the spectrum even more valuable. The touch points of people to people, I think are going to be more and more and more valuable. I mean, you've got to define where you are in the marketplace. Keep asking questions. Questions are the leaders of the world. Questions lead everything. Whatever industry you're in, make sure you're out there anywhere around the world to work out what the fads are, and get on to them quickly. Being willing to actually get to the guts of what it really means and then make a, an informed decision. The, the cost of doing business has come down really substantially. So therefore you're able to test an idea, see if it'll stick, um, and then back it with your own money. Believe in yourself. Um, business without self-belief uh, will, will never work. Good advice for small business owners is to always be challenging yourself and always be challenging your views about the industry and looking, reading, finding out about best practices in, in your field um, and always just be challenging your thinking about where your company is now, where it's going um, and be really brutally honest with yourself when you make that assessment. No, this isn't going well. No, this isn't going how I want it to go. And only when you're honest with yourself can you actually look at it and, and, and make changes that will, that will have an impact. And in terms of our own lives, it's well, who are, who are the top four people that you're spending time with? Um, do you do you admire their values and their goals and how they live their lives? Because um, what you do and how you live your life will be a reflection of that as well.